Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here, and again we're showing another wonderful, amazing um, Smart Spine Protocol, which, you know, I've said this before, this is definitely client retention. They will love you not only because it feels sort of like spa Pilates, but um, also because it's really effective. Because what it does is it teaches the client the feeling of the movement, right? So we can intellectualize a lot of different movements. Yes, we understand that that is what an ab curl is or that is what shoulder flexion is, et cetera, et cetera. But when we start to really give the client a, a deep feeling and understanding of the movement, um, it changes and they can carry that with them eventually without the smart spine, right? Because they understand the feeling of the glide, the, the feeling of opposition and easy contrast in their body. And that's really what this work helps to do. So this one again is um, just like the zero balance, this is organizing the shoulder girdle and the head and the neck and creating some, uh, some beautiful traction in the cervical spine um, and the rib cage sternum. So everything is warm and April has this first cell of the smart spine at her occipital base. So I'm gonna take the handles and I'm gonna take the handles into one hand my experience has been you really have to ask the clients, especially if they have earrings on, this can not be comfortable, but you want to make sure you're not pinching or you know, that everything feels comfortable. And then I have a, my other hand at the globe. So the globe is on her sternum. She takes a deep inhale into the heat. And then on the exhale, I gently pull the smart spine and the globe away from one another. Inhale, we release and exhale, pulling it away. And we'll do a couple more like this. So this is giving her a sense of where her head should be on her spine. It helps to correct that forward head posture. And again, we start to find that gentle response of those muscles in the front of the neck. So now I'm gonna hold this. Does that feel okay in your sternum? and she'll take a deep inhale, and I'm holding the traction. And then on the exhale, the arms are gonna float up and back towards me. And I'm holding this tractioning. Good, she takes a deep inhale here. And then on the exhale, she brings her arms down to her side. Good, and then I release. So for those clients who have um, a hard time bringing the arms over their head, they get impinged, their upper traps take over. Very nice sequence to do with them. Let's do it again. Inhale, exhale, I give her traction and the arms can come up and back, like she's reaching for me. Inhale here, I keep the tension. And then on the exhale, she brings her arms back and down. And then we release. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.